G'day, uh, my name's Tom Varney and uh, this is my son. G'day, I'm Thomas. We're just heading up for the... Uh, let's keep going with this stuff. Anyway, right, mate. We're just heading up for the red deer roaring season. Uh, it's about the near the end of March. But I was up about uh, five, six months ago. Seen some beautiful stags up there. They were really good, weren't they, mate? Yeah, they were top stuff. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of, lot of deer. Great season we've had here, probably all over Australia. Breeding season, I was back there again in about December, January. And uh, little fellas everywhere. But uh, we'll really have a great deer this year. There's a lot of deer there. So, better put your wife in, mate. Yep. Main thing. I use the 243 with the Winchester 100 grains. Probably the best that I've found for the deer. Um, I went out this afternoon. I must add something very important. We've tested the rifle. Made sure that it was all okay for when you're going to shoot a stay. There's nothing worse than messing it up when Top you get to the stage. you can be in real trouble, yeah. That's right. Anyhow, we're going to head off uh, early in the morning. We're going to have an early night here and then leave here before daylight. So we'll catch you driving into the property before daylight in the morning. This property we're going into this morning is a very exciting property for us too because you never know what you're going to find on it. It holds a lot of deer. You'll find spikers up to double fours, double fives, upwards double sixes, anything at all. That's what we like about the property. It also holds a lot of does, which obviously in the raw is the thing what the stags are after, and the stags are what we're after. So we'll pull up here, wait for daylight, and just see how we go. There's a lot of stags running this morning, but we want to have a good look over the property before we decide to take a nice trophy head. We just come in onto this stag and uh, he's only got a doe with him there, but I think there was might have been another one. Looks to me to be quite an immature stag. He seems as uh, as lost as what we probably were, with wanting to know what was going to happen there at the beginning of the roar. And uh, he didn't seem to know exactly what was going on around him. Threw a little bit of uh, caution to the wind with me being so close, but. Um, was more concerned about eating. He's probably got a bit of an idea that something's a little bit different than usual. I think he heard another stag roar and he looked over as if to say, well, what are you on about? But um, that probably makes me think more that he is a young stag. Good potential head, five, six. Yeah, it's a nice head. 